Hello YouTube, my name is Nero, and today we have some Call of Duty Black Ops 3. It's been quite a while since I've played this game, and I figured for this video we would do something different, something a bit fun. We are going to play Call of Duty Black Ops 3 on the PC. As you guys know, I am primarily a console player. I do play Black Ops 3 on the PC quite a bit, but it's mostly zombies. I have, in fact, about 17 hours played in zombies on Black Ops 3 on the PC here, but they're actually running a pretty awesome event. So until June 27th, all DLC maps for Black Ops 3 on the PC are available for free. You can just go ahead and play them. They are just in the map rotation now, even if you haven't purchased the individual DLCs themselves. You get double XP for playing on the maps that you do actually own, and of course, if you're a season pass holder, you will then get double XP pretty much all the time. So I think that's pretty cool. And so without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I figured we would hop in and play some Call of Duty here. So let's have some fun. Well, this seems like a recipe for disaster. So the first game of Black Ops 3 for me on the PC is going to be that guy's in a tank. I only know how to destroy those things, so I've never actually played on this map before, so I'm going to avoid him for the time being. But this, of course, is going to be the remake of the Call of Duty World at War map outskirts. One of my favorite maps, honestly, from Call of Duty World at War. We're getting a little bit of lag here. Not exactly sure what's going on there, but everybody seems to just be in tanks. Is that the meta of this map? Is this what people tend to do? They just run around and get inside the tanks. Now, what's kind of nice is I do know where I'm going already, having never actually played this map on Black Ops 3, aside from, like, private matches and stuff like that, doing walkthroughs. It is kind of nice knowing where I'm going most of the time, but at the same time, we are playing Team Deathmatch, and it appears there's a guy right there. Oh, my aim, my aim. There we go. We're on a three kill streak. There we go. So my kill streaks and everything are going to be uh, default, I am, uh, of course, level one here. Look at you, hip fire. Wow, hip fire. All right, I was going to give him the old rocket. Oh, <laughs> And I get tanked. All right, well, I guess I should be using my rockets on their tanks anyway. I was just trying my best to avoid them the best that I could. Now, I have messed around with my key bindings because of zombies. I don't remember exactly what I set up to... Uh, on, go over the wall here. All right. I don't remember what I set up to actually be my key bind for slides. So I'm just going to avoid sliding. I'm just going to jump around and hip fire. How's that sound? Well, that guy tries to get me with the old combat knife. I do like the high FOV that you have while playing on PC here. It is pretty freaking incredible, man. Playing console for all these years and going to PC, like, that's one of my favorite things. That's why, in fact, I'm waiting to play the Zombies Chronicles DLC on PC because I love having the high FOV. I love having the high frame rates. I love having the high resolution textures and stuff like that because I, uh, I do have a pretty good PC. Um, I did forget all the specs. I can try putting a link to that in the description. I bought it pre-built, but, of course, I did a bunch of upgrades and stuff like that. Where in the heck are these guys? Oh, hi, friend. I was going to say, I assume they're going to be here, over here in the church area. All right, so press Q. All right. <laughs> I'm glad it actually tells you what button to press, because I would not have figured that out. <laughs> I would not have figured out Q. Oh, oh yeah, you're a teammate. Sorry. I'm, it's one of those things where I, have, I haven't played this map that much, and now I'm technically on top of the church tower. I haven't played this map in Black Ops 3, and even though I played it back in World of War, like, everything is new to me. And how do I call that in? Press 3. I thought, I thought kill streaks were six in the other Call of Duty games. Hiya, friend. Things are going pretty well here. I'm 9-1, leading the team, leading the lobby. Things are going good. The frame rate does feel a little bit off. I wonder if my settings are too high with all the things I've opened. I guess I should have closed some... Ah, my aim. I should have closed some applications before I started recording and stuff like that. I still have Sony Vegas and stuff open in the background right now. And so this guy's going to come for... Yeah, I was going to say, this guy's going to come for me. He knows I'm here. Okay, there's a person that way. I don't know how to slide. <laughs> I, I tried messing around with it. Four is not slide. I think four, no, four wouldn't be slide, would it? I apparently actually stunned somebody there. I didn't actually mean to. I was just throwing it for the sake of throwing it. Hi! Ah! All right. Uh, apparently, escape is not how you skip kill cams. <laughs> uh, three? All right, there we go. How do I make you go faster? Shift for the boost. I can remember making a video somewhat similar to this many, many years ago um, when I was first learning how to play PC. I think it was back in Black Ops 2 for the you hardcore fans out there. What's great, too, is I know there are so many hardcore fans out there that have you know, been watching my videos forever that probably remember me talking about, in a couple of different videos, my uh, transition to trying to play games on the PC and stuff like that when I first got a PC that I could actually run things. My original PC that I would render videos on and such. I'm going to try and go around and flank them here. I hope I, didn't, I hope I didn't miss some guy in that building. Did I? I think I did. I think it was this person right here. But the original PC that I made YouTube videos on, this guy now knows I'm here, thanks to UAV. 
is um, it would take me like eight hours to render a video or something horrendous like that. It was really, really bad. Like I had to, I had to like work around the entire schedule just to do YouTube pretty much because if it takes you eight hours to render a video, you have to do that overnight pretty much. I mean, you can't do anything with a PC that takes that long to record anything. I now have gravity spikes. So that's pretty cool. They're all back here again, huh? Guess I could use the old rocket and try and uh, intervene here with this tank war. See if I can do that. But there's going to be people here. And, oh, no. Wow, my aim is so bad. Turn the corner again. Come peek me. Challenge me. We're not going to do anything for the tank there. All right, fair enough to you. Let's go to the top of the tower and see if I can RPG down their tanks from up here. I bet you I can. All right, where is it? All right, I would, ha I would have no line of sight on it whatsoever. Back in World of War, you could jump out of this. Hiya. <laughs> uh, where else can we go? So their tank is all the way down here. Oh, here we go. How many tank? How many shots did it take to kill one of these tanks? And can they snipe me from here? I don't know what kind of a, what kind of power they actually have. I, I bet gravity spikes actually would be pretty incredible for taking these things out. All right, there's a guy in the building right here in front of me, so I don't want to peek because I'm not sure if there's a window. In World at War, there was a window where they could see me from here. Gosh, my aim so freaking bad. Wait, there's a person coming from behind me. Come on. You were right here. Oh, well, I guess you're right there now. Hey, level two. Look at me go. I don't know where that guy went. You're watching me go around the robot the whole time. I, The whole chat, having all chat is something I actually don't like. It's um something they have in Overwatch. Come on. Oh, I was hoping you would just jump up at me. Oh, the shock charge. He's hit me with the plays. No fair, man. I don't have tack mask or anything like that. You can't be hitting me with the plays. You can't be hitting me. Oh, thank you, teammate. Thank you, teammate. My aim was so bad. Wait a minute. I, have a, I would call my UAV as he calls in his UAV. I gotta say, man, this actually does kind of feel good. I feel like the advanced movement, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, uh, I'm gonna get mobbed for this. But I feel like the advanced movement is even more fun on PC. All right. I need to test this. Hey! All right. That didn't do it. That didn't do it. All right. Can I stun him? Will that mess him up? Titanfall style? Uh, <laughs> I've never played. I keep thinking escape is how you skip kill cams. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've never. Oh, sorry. I've never actually uh, played against this anybody on this map before. I've only ran through it in a private match when it was actually announced. Like, I didn't actually. I didn't play a lot of the DLC maps in Black Ops 3. I think part of it was due to the fact that the people I played with didn't have any of the DLC. And that's a big part of Call of Duty, of course, is the people you play with. And my friends are actually, believe it or not, they plan to get the Zombies Chronicles DLC on PC as well. So I'm going to have people to play with for a change. Isn't it going to be great? Like, the only person I actually play, like, Modern Warfare Master and stuff with is Cypher. Uh, because he's the only person that actually plays Call of Duty anymore. Hi, buddy. My aim is really bad, but apparently good enough to kill you. Repeatedly, it would seem. Oh, oh, that's... I opened up Steam. Oh, there we go. I meant to just... Isn't Tab how you open the score... I was pressing was I press I was pressing shift and tab and that opens up steam. All right. <laughs> that makes sense. There's a person up here. Hold on. All right, but oh come on. No, you can't you can't shoot me from the side, buddy. Whoa. <laughs> How do I get? I thought PC were was where the good people played. Let's get inside this thing. I don't know how I don't know what you do with it. It's like Titanfall. All right, so G is guided missile, or middle mouse would be guided missiles, it says. I love how they have these tooltips, because I honestly need them. I guess they're over here at the end of the map. I gotta say, though, I'm having a lot of fun right here. This is, uh, this is pretty incredible. Now, there's gonna be a guy. I think he just camps here at the end of the street. So, if I go... Oh, okay, so you don't press your guided missiles right away. All right. On here, friend. I see you there. All right, well, the, good to see it's actually not all that powerful or anything like that. Like, oh, there we go. I should just get out of here. I should just get out. It's going to blow up on me. Somebody's going to come around the corner and just demolish me. So let's just avoid that. All right, let's get a stun out there. Hey, I got the gravity spikes. At least we know this time that they won't actually take out the tank, which is coming our way now. All right, so there is a window right there they can see us from. I need to check my key bindings. I'd love to be able to slide because I feel as though it makes me faster. All right, apparently I used both of those already. All right, so we're going to stun you. Doesn't do anything. We're going to throw a grenade. Oh, <laughs> okay. Apparently you can die really quickly 
when uh, when they just kind of turn the corner at you. What's the score limit to? I guess we're going to hit the time limit. I remember hearing a lot of criticisms that while playing on this map. How do I, why can't I stick to the wall? Okay, there we go. I just... All right. It feels weird. I'm used... To, you know, my wall running experience is like Lucio and Overwatch. Goodness gracious. And so I try to... Uh, Basically mimic that kind of uh, play style while I'm running where I feel like I have to press the button again to lock on uh, Once I hit the wall, that's not the case uh, Yeah, that's gonna take some getting used to for sure because there's no wall running in zombies if you if you guys don't know I was gonna hopefully get that guy with the RPG there. Well, apparently PC is not as bad as I thought it would be 22 and 5 first game 4.4 uh, KD uh, two assists uh, 53 ping. Would you look at that? Would you look at that Raven software? Let's watch the kill cam here. Yeah, we gotta watch the kill cam. Blitzkrieg, good name here on PC. Can I have any name you want? But notice how we can see our ping. How fantastic is that? I'd say it's pretty good. Who's this moon man that's ahead of me? I'm ahead of him in score. Why is he number one and why am I number two? Treyarch. Treyarch. What? Come on. I'm number one. I led the lobby. I had the most kills. I mean, he had less deaths than me. Does it go by KD ratio? Perhaps. I'd have to go back and look. Was Blitzkrieg number three? Because he was number three in the team in KD. But regardless, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys all enjoyed this little live com here. Something uh, something different for this video. Something I don't typically do. And I figured it would be fun from like uh, from an outsider's perspective playing Call of Duty Black Ops 3 for the first time. Really since uh, Modern Warfare Remastered slash Infinite Warfare came out, I haven't... I'm going to back out of the lobby because I have new things that I unlocked and I don't see. As you can see, like all these DLC maps... Well, one of these are DLC maps. Uh, they are now available for even people like me that don't have the season pass and stuff like that. My figure would be fun for people to see somebody that plays all the time on console, which I would, I hope... I don't think you guys heard the sound of the keyboard and mouse and stuff like that, but I was definitely playing with a keyboard and mouse, and um, it's kind of fun to see it from the other perspective. I would say this game is... It feels really good on PC. It just does. Now, from the comments of my last video, people were saying that uh, apparently Treyarch is the go-to developer for PC Call of Duty games, because apparently they do their ports pretty well compared to Infinity Ward and apparently Sledgehammer Games. So I find that to be interesting, but regardless, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Drop me a rating. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.